Now, you know, some of you uh, missed a great 4th of July parade today. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it was really very good. We enjoyed ourselves thoroughly. Uh, didn't last long, but you all knew that it wouldn't. And we waved to people, and, and Jim Miller said, this isn't the only people who were left in our class, because our float wasn't particularly full. <laughs> and Jim said, there's more of us than this. You know? But uh, Mary Sue uh, picked that up. Mary Sue and Ed McGinn picked that up. <laughs> and they did, did an excellent job. And helping them, though, they, they didn't do it all themselves. They had Gary and Gene Swagman. They also had uh, Mike Holbrook, who's the driver, I think. Who was the guy that had the horn? I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know him. Uh, Jane, Jamie Howard was very involved, as was Rich Nancy Richardson. Excuse me. Rich and Nancy Richardson, and also the, the vehicles were supplied by Acre Automotive. So, <laughs> I've been told that some of you went on the uh, tour today at the high school, our high school, now the junior high, but it's our high school. And uh, I thought it was really, really interesting and they enjoyed themselves. The superintendent of schools, somebody's pointing at David. Yes. I, I was going to mention Bev and Daryl here later, but uh, Bev and Daryl right here. Bev and Daryl were about the first ones here tonight. Uh, Daryl opened the doors for us, so please accept my apologies for not recognizing you. And then we had a great tour of the high school, I guess, for those of you who went. We really enjoyed it, and uh, I've been told it brought back a lot of memories to everyone that went and had a good turnout. Tom Hunter, the superintendent of uh, the Great Swift School Corporation. Tom took you through, so that, that's pretty good that Tom would do that for you. And, uh, but Linda Folk put that together for us. So Linda, thank you. Well, you know, as you look around the tables, uh, we all have name tags on, don't we? And how many times have we needed them? There have been a couple of times, haven't there? I mean, you know, we all, we're all a little more mature than we were at one time. And, uh... We're older, we're not more mature. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, Connie. We're more mature. Yes, we are. I'd like to think we are. I got one later. Okay, so there's one. We ran them all. Uh, so, we need to thank uh, Bev Hadler Grimes and Linda Vole for putting our wonderful name tags together. That was a Herculean effort. Now, like I told you, this only used to be about six of us that did this whole thing. Now, so it's a lot longer now. And for the reunion tonight, we had really Bob and Anita Lisa, and Anita Ryan Rock. I keep, when I was putting this together, I kept wanting to use everybody's maiden name. What's that say? This is, I'm dating. Uh, John and Vicki Grady were extremely involved in this whole program. Uh, yeah, go ahead. And, and uh, Mary and myself were, were pretty involved in doing really great things. And then uh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention uh, some real, real uh, pillars of this group, and that would be Joe and Susan Restaurant. And Susan. Now, I have been asked to remind all of us that tomorrow morning from 9 to 11, John and Vicki have put together a nice little um, continental breakfast for us at the Hampton Inn to say goodbye to everybody. So if you would like to go there, John and Vicki, 9 o'clock, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> well, this is an interesting part. I will forget I'm not sure how long ago, but it was about 20 years ago. So give me a little slap, will you? You know, time goes fast. It's about 20 years ago. One of our classmates called me up 
John Gallon. And he said, Louis Alexander would really like to come to the class reunion this year. When is it? I said, well, I'll call Louis back. So I called Louis back, told him. And we talked on the phone for several minutes. And Louis says, is there anything I can do for our class being out here in San Jose, California? I thought, oh, Louis, you're a long way off. I don't know. So I kept thinking, you know what that was the beginning of? The internet. <laughs> and so after a few days, or I don't know what it was, I called Louie back and I said, Louie, would you be a webmaster for our class? And you know where we are today, don't you? Yeah, we are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Louie, uh, you know, you've done a really good job of keeping us informed. I broke a bone in my foot last fall. No big deal. I could walk around. I wasn't supposed to if I could. And I saw Mary Sue. She says, boy, you kept that a secret, didn't you? Don't want anybody to know you broke that bone. I said, no. I said, I didn't want that. She thought I should have given it to Louie to put out to the class. But, but look, uh, really look how, how Louie has developed this website and made it something that we all look at. And really, for the last 365 days, have enjoyed it. <laughs> Well, I've had uh, several people in our community really ask me for Louis's address or Louis's email or something so they could put together something like that for their class. And of course, it takes a special person to put that all together and to work that hard. And I, I'm sure he's, he's, uh, he's talked to some. Well, the countdown, you know, let's all think about this. 365 days. This is Herculean task. And you know, Louis could have quit in the middle and we would we would yeah, we wouldn't know the difference, you know. And anyway, he didn't. And I mean somebody that would spend all these hours. Remember he's, he was a newspaper guy? So he's got all his contacts that most of us don't have. Huh? But Louis, Louis, you just did a fantastic job Thank for you. us during the whole time. Thank you.
Absolutely. I also have a gift certificate to Louie. I think you already got it. <laughs> a gift certificate to Louie. And uh, we'd like to thank you for everything you do. I mean, it's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. Louie. Hey, you work. Three things. It was an incredible labor of love. I had a great time doing it. Every time I found something really cool, I was really happy. <laughs> Second, if you are taking pictures tonight, please send them to me so I can post them. Because the website is so much more robust when I have pictures from all kinds of people other than me. You know, I try to get pictures of everybody, but I'm not going to make it tonight. Uh, so. Uh, you send your pictures to me, I will treat them with the same loving Photoshop care I give my own pictures. <laughs> oh, okay. Third, the, uh, there will be a couple slideshows tonight. Those will be on YouTube within the next couple of days, and I will send you the links when they're up. It will take me most of the summer to get the, all these pictures edited. And I can't edit video much, but the pictures I can edit. I will send you word as, as I do it. Uh, and enjoy them. It's a, it's amazing. They pick things that you don't realize that were going on when they were because you were busy and you didn't get to talk to that group of people. Finally, thank you all for this, all your accolades. There will not be a count up. One three sixty five was plenty. Thank you. Uh, as he said, it was a labor of love, and I think every one of us in this room appreciate that. And there's probably a lot of us in here in this room because of Louie. And we may not have been here. Louie shamed some people in the meeting. <laughs> so, Louie, thank you for the crowd. You, you're good. welcome. <laughs> good. Now, um, this evening, I'd like to bring Anita up. And Anita has a uh, this part of the program, and she would like to, uh, she's only got about a 15, 20 minute dissertation. <laughs> and she will, she will uh, talk about Dorothy. Yeah. Couple more minutes and you can eat. This is so exciting, I can't stand it. We all have our talents, we all have our hobbies, our interests. Yes, Jim, I'm sure you have a talent. No. I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't shake your head. But we have one class member who has used her talent to make this gorgeous quilt over here, and it's Dorothy Kramer. Um, I'm a quilter, I'm sure many of you are, and recognize the technique that she has used. All her little points meet perfectly. There's no puckers. Everything is beautiful. Her sense of design is great. And she used our class colors, who knew we had any. But they are lavender and silver, and that, that quilt is gorgeous, and it's going to be raffled off after the program, 15 minutes after the final program tonight. So stick around, okay, for that drawing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Dorothy, could you come up here a second, please? Just a second. Yes, yes. We are so proud of you. I mean, I, I know I have had so much positive feedback from everybody here. We all appreciate it. And we'd like to give you a little token of our appreciation. So thank you very much. And we're going to see Dorothy later because she's going to draw for this quilt. Okay? proceeds on this to the class endowment fund. So, yeah, now I'm going to tell you about the raffle. Vicki Grivey over there has been selling tickets like crazy, but she's got some left. And fortunately for us, we have had an anonymous donor who couldn't be here tonight who donated 100 tickets for us to use. So, if you go over there, there's some of these 100 tickets left. If you buy a ticket now for $5, you get a free ticket. 
if you spend the five dollars or five for twenty packet, you get a free ticket. So she's going to be selling these until the end of the program, and 15 minutes after that. Yes, Margie, thank you. <laughs> we'll have our drawing. Dorothy will be doing that, okay? <laughs> she doesn't want to take those home. All right, so the sales have been good because that is one gorgeous quilt, and I hope somebody takes that heirloom home and enjoys it. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, we want you to stick around to the end of the program. It's going to be short. We're going to eat right now. And please stick around because I know what they've got planned. And it will be worth your while to stay here. Okay. We're going to eat. But before that, I would like to bring Sister Joanie, of course, who we used to know as Doris Horse. She's in the back. She's going to preach. <laughs> we don't need it. David's already done that, so we don't need it. Sister Joanne is in residence now in Oldenburg at the Sisters of St. Francis. And I happen to know she's got a busy plate down there because she is a team leader. She was installed in their general council in 2012. But she has time to be with us tonight. She's going to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Anita. And it's so good to be here. And Louie, thank you very much. You're a big reason that I'm here because I was one of those that you said, you got to come. So. Anyway, it's so good to see all of you. So we are about to eat, so let us pray. God, we gather, we gather here this evening at the home of Dave and Mary Myers to celebrate our 50-year class reunion. We give thanks for Dave and Mary for opening their home to us. We give thanks to Louie for keeping us in touch and, keeping, and helping us anticipate this event every day for 365 days. We give thanks for the class reunion committee who has worked so hard. God, you, all, you have greatly blessed each of us throughout these 50 years. We thank you for those blessings, for our family, friends, classmates, job and ministry opportunities over the years, for challenges and responsibilities. We thank you for the journeys of our lives and all those we have met along the way. Please continue to bless each of our classmates and our families and friends. Bless the classmates who have died and their families. On this 4th of July, thank you for the freedom we enjoy. We ask special blessings upon those in our armed forces. Keep them safe and let them return home unharmed. Grant eternal rest and happiness and peace to those who have given their lives for our country. And now, God, we thank you for the food that we are about to receive and enjoy in the company of our classmates. May it be nourishment for body and soul. We ask blessing on the farmers and gardeners, as well as all those who help prepare the food. Bless the poor, too, who perhaps have no food this evening. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sister. Um, let's just uh, go verbally at any table. Jim Price.